some flat earthers have given demonstrations where they cast a shadow of one ball onto another ball and they get shapes other uh, than a circle when they do that, even getting a straight line under some cases. The problem with those demonstrations is that they've moved the camera off to the side, as I have here. In my earlier experiment, I measured the, uh, the angle between the direction of the uh, ex experimental ball here and the light source to the between the, from here to the light source and the, and the camera, it was about 10 degrees. Now I've got it nearly 60 degrees, and I'll show you what happens when, when this occurs. If you come down, you're going to get a very different shadow moving across the, the earth, or that ball there, I should say. The shadow is going to be dependent upon a very complex relationship between the angle we're talking about here. And if you change the uh, orientation, you can actually get a line from that viewpoint moving across the surface of the smaller ball. Now, of course, when you're looking at a lunar eclipse on the Earth, the angle here <laughs> is essentially zero. At the most, it's maybe a degree. And so you're going to get a very good projection of a circle from that situation. This is a mapping problem in mathematics where you're mapping the conical uh, umbra of one ball onto the surface of another ball, and then you have to map uh, that complex shape onto the plane perpendicular to your line of sight. And um, only when this angle is zero, or very close to zero, when you're looking back towards the light source from this point, the camera angle to the angle to the camera and the light source is nearly zero, which it is during a lunar eclipse, do you get a circle then? So some of those, <laughs> all of those flat earth or videos showing uh, anything other than a circle are playing a trick. Whether it's intentional, I don't know.